Hello, my name is Amjad Al Tadmuri, and welcome to this tutorial from Greenfoot team in University of Kent. Today we will talk about how to make use of weather information in our scenarios, either games or simulation. A lot of aspects being mentioned today is introduced in Greenfoot version 2.4, so if you have an earlier version, please upgrade. When I open Greenfoot, I'll find create or open a scenario message appears in the middle. So I'll go to scenario menu and then press new. A new scenario dialog will be open. So I have to write a new name, let's say test weather. Create. A new scenario will be open with just two classes, the world and actor classes. I have to create a new world class, let's say new so class anything. The background, let's say board B. Okay, and I want now to use weather class, so I have to import it from edit import class menu. So I'll find weather here, import it. It will say to me Greenfoot has to be restarted for this project to work properly. So I have to say okay, otherwise I'll press cancel. But when I finish my other classes, I have to restart Greenfoot anyway. So let's say okay, Greenfoot will be restarted to guarantee that the libraries needed will be bring into your scenario. So I have to create an actor here. Let's name it anything, put any image. Let's say castle, and name it is as castle. Okay. Now if I compile. I'll find the background is set as this board, chess board, and I can create a new castle here, but nothing will happen, even if I press run or act, because the castle class is still empty. So what I have to do now is write some code in the castle actor to make use of wither class. Let's look at the documentation of wither class. First, I open wither class in documentation mode, and I'll find that constructor either without any parameter or with country and city as string. Now if I pass no parameters to the weather constructor that means it will get your IP address and will get the information about your local weather. So if you have any scenario each different user will use your scenario if you put this constructor will give him or her the local information for them. You can see that it also provides the get city get country for sure, if you pass them, you know them, but if you get the uh, local or let's say random, you maybe etc. It's good to, to see the city and the country. It will also provide you with the humidity, pressure, temperature, direction and speed of the wind. It's faster to make use of this example. So I'll copy it and paste it here. Simply, I just created a new object of weather class, let's say France Paris, and then in the act method, I just call the get temperature, put it in temperature, get wind direction and get the humidity, put them in other two variables and printed the all variables here. This method needs another bracket and if you compile now, everything's fine. You have to create a new castle and now when we press act, the terminal window will open by itself and will give us the current temperature in Paris is 5.5 degrees, the wind direction is north, the humidity is 7. Now if you press again act, it will give you the same information again, but you can change another country and another city, let's say Germany, Hamburg, and let's compile again and let's create a new object. And now when I press act, can see that the temperature in Hamburg now is different, 5.2, and the direction of the wind is between south and southeast, and the humidity is 7. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. However, there is a new series about a sailing scenario, which will introduce all these ideas together in a sailing game. So it, it will talk about maps, weather, dynamic classes, and also the label class, which all of them in the import class. And this one will fuse all these ideas in a fun game which use the weather information to run these two boats. So for example, this boat is running according to wind speed in one city and this one in the other city. And we will see how we can control these two boats to, to see which one can anchor first. The winner is the German boat because it came to the anchor area before the French one, you can notice how the both boats sail only in the water. Thank you for listening.